Shook it up. Good morning guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 3rd of April. It is one week until my birthday and I turn 37. Yes, little old Lainey is going to be an old lady. Today um, I just showed you a physique update because I've been getting loads of questions which I never followed through with about my cellulite treatment that I had during the summer and I just wanted to show you what my legs are looking like right now and what I've been doing since then to try and help with the cellulite but number one thing I want to talk about is cellulite there is nothing wrong with it I used to think that cellulite was the ugliest thing ever and I've had it since I was 16 and started getting all those women hormones. I've always had dimples in my legs. And I think as society has taught us as women to dislike a part of our bodies, which is very normal and very natural. And okay, I went and got this treatment done to show you guys if it worked. But I do have to just accept that cellulite is part of my body. It's because I'm a woman, I've got hormones, there's a lot of other things involved. It's hereditary, all my the women in my family have cellulite. Completely normal and we need to learn to accept the fact that there are certain parts of our bodies that we may not necessarily be able to change. Yes, we can improve upon it and maybe we just don't like the look of it in certain clothing. For me, it's like wearing skirts. I just feel really uncomfortable wearing skirts and shorts when I have dimples visible on the back of my legs. And because I'm in an industry where it's frowned upon not to be perfect, but I'm here to tell you that it's completely fine to have cellulite. And this is a treatment I had done to try and help the appearance of it but in conclusion before we even get to the conclusion is that it isn't completely gone I still have it you can still see it but it has improved the depth of some of the dimples some of the dimples have completely gone in my legs and I do feel a lot more confident in my legs not only because I had this treatment but because I've realized that despite having this treatment there is nothing wrong with cellulite there's nothing wrong with stretch marks there's nothing wrong with wrinkles but there are loads of things that we can do to improve the appearance of all these things if it is a hang up so the treatment i had done was back in the summer and um, it spanned about 12 weeks because we had to have a number of treatments done each week to for it to take effect now it was called 3d lipo it involved three different processes which helped to break down the um, gaps between the tissues that cause you to have cellulite and to have these dimples. Now, most men won't have cellulite, they can, but it is a female orientated um, issue. And um, it does help, this process does help. It has infrared, it has a number of different things. But at the time, I was going through a rough time. We were moving house, we had a lot of stresses on us. So I felt like I didn't, give it my all and that's why I never did a conclusion to that video because I felt like I didn't get the best out of the treatment because I didn't follow through with everything I had plans to do. I was on like a weight loss journey, I was meant to be drinking loads of water and near the end I just teetered off because I just wasn't feeling the best, I was feeling quite negative. But I needed to talk about it just to tell you if you need this treatment or if you should have it. Now it is an expensive treatment. It's about eight to 900 pounds for the treatment and you will get offers on it. You have to look out for local surgeries that offer this treatment. I would not go to a beautician's. I go more to a medically based 
um, aesthetic clinic and um, make sure that you have someone who's fully qualified and fully trained to do the process. It is a long, it's about an hour each time you go in, so it's long and it's tedious. Uh, you just lie in there getting massaged pretty much for an hour. So you have to set aside the time each week. You have to be on it, you have to be drinking your water, you have to be active and helping the process because it's about eliminating the toxins out of your body as well. So you need to be drinking a lot of water. And that was one of the things that I didn't do. But six months on from having it done, and I'm about 10 pounds heavier, I definitely see a difference. Because normally as I gain fat, I gain a lot more cellulite and right now my cellulite is not crazy evident and that's not normal for me, I know my own body. So in that way it did work at reducing the appearance of the cellulite. Yes I still have some dimpling but I do have more fat on my body right now. It would be interesting to see what I look like if I drop body fat and see if it actually did completely disappear. I personally think that if you have cellulite like I have which is quite dominant on my legs um, I don't think you're ever going to get rid of it I'm sorry unless you go for a proper surgical procedure to have the fat removed and I wouldn't really recommend that unless it's something you are really have a very bad mental hang up about I wouldn't recommend going down that route because it is quite aggressive in conclusion I think Yes, if you have that money to spare or if you get it on offer and you have the time and you want to put the effort into it, go for it. Essentially, there is nothing wrong with cellulite and we should all just learn to love our bodies and accept them the way they are and just work hard to be healthy and happy with the way you look. One of the ways I try to and tone my legs and make them look better is by training my hamstrings. So following on from this, you are gonna be treated to my top five hamstring workouts. If you build up your hamstrings and build up that muscle, it's gonna reduce the fat in that area anyway and it make it look more toned and then you'll have less evidence of the cellulite that's there. Following on from my hamstring workout, I will update you on what I have gotten on my muscle food haul for this month. So it is 5 p.m. and our muscle food delivery has just arrived and I've laid it out on a carousel of food to show you everything we have gotten. So I'm going to quickly take you through pretty much what we would eat in a month's supply of muscle food between Lex and I. It may look like a lot of food but we do eat a lot of protein. So as we have the new grenade bars in stock at muscle food, I'm just after trying one of these and Oh my god, they are delicious. Tastes like white chocolate, Snickers bar, really, really delicious. 12 grams of fat, so 
if you're on a lower fat diet may not be able to fit it in may have to wait until a treat day we've got lex the dark chocolate raspberry because he really likes them i really like these pro to go bars the peanut white chocolate ones are good and i also have the coconut ones and there's like a layer of kind of like mm, a layer of creaminess in the middle i'm not really sure it's like a caramel like substance and it's just really good and then we have some of these mini easter eggs so for easter we can still have our treats and get protein in win-win i've got these hip hip peas so these are gluten free completely vegan healthy snacks uh, i usually go for the cheesy ones or the chili ones so they're my go-to i'm trying these for the first time they're a protein bake salt and vinegar flavor we'll see what they're like they look kind of like um a cracker might be good with some hummus got some whole cashews for lex because he just likes to snack on them we've got some of these back in stock so the cookie sandwich they're like an oreo except they have amazing macros high in protein and just lovely with a cup of tea I've got this honey mustard style sauce, so it really does taste like honey mustard without the calories, so guilt free. Just for convenience for Lex, I've gotten a couple of meals from them. They do really good offers on the muscle food meals, and they're just handy to have in the freezer. So we have the satay chicken and the tikka chicken masala, and we just stick them in the freezer, and any day where I don't have time, at least Lex can have something um, nutritious and filling. I'm gonna have these for dinner. These are the chicken skewers, the peri peri ones and they're just super yummy super handy again just throw them in the oven with some veggies and you've got yourself a really nice meal we've got some of the streaky bacon for Lex because he's still taking in a higher fat diet and these are a great way of getting protein and fats into him um, we've got some of the melty cheese in the middle burgers if you haven't tried these before they're absolutely phenomenal and just really good and again very convenient because you can just fry them up and stick them in a bun. You've got a delicious dinner all ready to go. I've got some of the chicken breast mints, which I use for loads of different recipes. So chicken burgers, nachos, loads of different things. And then we have about five kg of chicken breasts and that should do us through the month of April. As always guys, I have a link to Muscle Food in the description box below if you fancy purchasing any of these things or just having a peruse of what they have on offer. They really are really good value for money and worth a look. I'm going to leave the video here. If you have any questions about anything that featured in this video, read the cellulite treatment, hamstring workouts or just generally if you have any queries about your own diet or nutrition just hit me up down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. I hope you enjoyed the video click the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe see you next time.